Let's talk about now safety of the IL-23 blockers compared to the other drugs that we all have. Let's go one by one. Uh, you know, I, I, methotrexate and cyclosporin are kind of straightforward. You touched on this, George, I mean, earlier. There's, there's no need for lab monitoring. We don't need to worry about um, liver biopsies, things like that, that we used to talk about. Uh, we don't need to worry about putting a patient on a drug that shouldn't stay for more than a year. So, I mean, compared to those uh, cyclosporin and methotrexate, it really worlds better. But, I mean, when you think about the, the general safety of AL-23s, I'm not seeing anything pop up. When you start to look at the, the best data right now that we have, I think, in terms of longitudinal data looking at the non-melanoma skin cancer, because it's a small, it's a small signal, right? But it is there with the TNF alpha inhibitors. We aren't as of yet seeing that with ustekinumab, and there have been enough data, I think, that we can kind of confidently say that we don't think that's going to play a role. And by extension, I think the IL-23s. Right. So you know, compared to what's come before, there really aren't any. There aren't any warts on this one <laughs> right. so far. Yeah. Yeah. I Everything agree. has a little wart, agree. right, except yes. the IL-23s. Yes. You know, again, it seems like what's not in the safety data is the most important part of their safety data. So far for me, with Rizinkizumab being a little bit newer and have a few, fewer patients on it, but starting back with Kuselkimab and, and then with, with um, Tildra, uh, I would say right now I've had some, some URIs, pretty typical. I've had that, and, and, and one urinary tract infection. Um, you know, these can happen by chance and not necessarily drug-related, but nevertheless, other than that, at least in the trenches, for me so far, uh, I've just, I've really not seen very much Ab about the, the only co side effect or safety concern is not a safety concern. You know, you have patients that may not respond to treatment. That's been about my biggest concern with these new generation drugs, whether it be any of the, the three 23 blockers. I also want to circle back to quality of life. When I think of my, myself, potentially, let's say I had to go on methotrexate, that's a huge quality of life just by being on the drug. Say your psoriasis clears, but the quality of life of being on a drug such as uh, cyclosporin or particularly methotrexate and acetretin, those have significant impacts on quality of life just being on those drugs. So um, I think that has to be taken into consideration as well. One of the, one of the you know, I'm not a big commercial or ad guy, but the, one of the ads that, got, that I'll always remember is before ustekinumab was approved, so pre-approval in the JAD, they had an ad and it said 341 on one page and I'm sorry, 361 on one page, and you turn the page, and it says the number of days you won't need to think about your psoriasis. And I think that's huge. I think thinking about, not thinking about your psoriasis for all but four days a year, or whatever it is for uh, uh, um, guselcomab, is huge. Right. And the same holds true for all the IL-23 blockers. Now, it's interesting. Yeah, that's right. that's, yes, that's uh, you know, I think patients who get used to giving themselves injections are happy doing it. Uh, you know, they know that the drugs make them better. But if you could give yourself an injection every three months or have it given to you in the office every three months so you don't have to deal with it at all, um, as opposed to you're going on a trip, when do I dose myself? Do I have to carry this cool pack with me? Uh, you know, can I go on a vacation? Or I, I can actually tell you the example of a, a patient of mine who wanted to be an Army Ranger. And uh, <clears throat> little known fact is that the Army will not take psoriasis patients. Uh, and he wanted to hide the fact that he had psoriasis. And this is in the days before we had the current crop of IL-23 blockers. So my plan was to treat him with cyclosporin to clear him quickly because he was going for his physical very soon thereafter. We made sure he didn't get high blood pressure from the cyclosporin. Um, once he had his physical, we put him on ustekinumab so that he could get it as infrequently as every three months because he was going to be going to places where they didn't even have refrigeration. So, and, and that's what he did. Uh, and that actually worked well. He it did make it into the Rangers and has stayed there.